What's up everybody, my name is Pratap from MSP Tech and in this video I am going to show you the update to CM12.1 in OnePlus One. Now let me go to the notification that I received over the air for the update to CM12.1. As you can see the update is about 318 in size and it shows that it will be upgraded to 5.1.1. So let me tap the install button. You can see now it is installing and it will reboot the phone now. Okay, now you can see the Bugdroid logo and the operating system is upgrading. I have fast forwarded this part of the video and it took about 5 minutes for this process to be completed. Once this process is completed, it will boot to the CyanogenOS OS and then I guess it will be optimizing all the apps for the current version. Yeah, you can see Android is upgrading and it is optimizing all the apps. I have around 260 apps that is installed. It may take a few minutes, so I'll fast forward this part of the video as well. So this part took me about 20 minutes to upgrade and you can see the process of upgrading is almost completed. Now it will boot up to the lock screen. Let me unlock the lock screen. Okay then, now let me show you, it is Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. And it is having Cyanogen Mod OS 12.1 and you can also see the kernel version down below there. This is the Angry Bird style Lollipop game. Okay, now let me go back and quickly change the theme and the home launcher to the default ones. As you can see the app drawer is changed to the vertical scroll style and it looks good. And let me go to the options menu. In the launcher options, you can change the layout and few other settings. You can also change it back to page, that is the horizontal scrolling thing that was there before. But the default home launcher is not as snappy as it should be. I do not recommend using the default launcher that is provided by Cyanogen Mode. You can use any other third party launcher that is better. Okay, now let me quickly set up my home screen. Now let me open the dialer app. In the previous version, as you all know that the stock dialer app was really great and it was really good. But in this version of the CM12.1, they have provided true dialer support. So it is capable of identifying unknown numbers, which is a plus point. And it is having all the dialer functions that it should provide. Now, as you can see here, you can do major functions that a normal dialer app provides, as well as it also provides various other options that are not provided by other apps. Now I'll go back and let me now check the camera app. As you can see there is no upgrade. There is no changes in the camera app. So let me look at the gallery app. Yeah, now you, as you look at it, you can see the icon of the gallery is changed. The gallery app is not any different from before but still it does not load up all the images as expected. The gallery app is working as it should and it is not having any noticeable performance improvement. Image rendering is not any quicker than before. I recommend third party apps such as QuickPick for this. Also the Chrome app has been updated. You can see that the home page of the Chrome app has been set to Bing.com by default. It has changed because of the partnership between Microsoft and Cyanogen Mode. So let me quickly change the default home to google.com.
and there is no other noticeable changes in this app as well okay now as you can see the chrome app is the same and there is no other differences now let me show you another major change in this version of the OS so now let me go to the settings and then display and here you can see the live display option this live display option is a screen filter which helps you to use your phone during night times there are several options in this display mode such as automatic on day night mode etc so once you set it to night mode it will change the temperature of the display so that you can use the phone even in the dark without any eye strain you also need to enable location setting so that it will automatically turn on the screen filter at night time and it is a good thing that it has been included as a system app you can also reduce the power con consumption and also calibrate the colors this is a really good addition as a system app and it's and a really good feature now the next different thing that has been changed in this version is that the screen pinning option under security for example when you spin any app to your screen it provides a notification in the previous version it used to display a dialog box asking you to hold the overview button for some time so that you can unpin it but in this version they have added a lollipop style dialog box that appears from the bottom of the screen and it asks you to press and hold the back button to unpin it the last but not the least update changes in this version is the calendar app this app provides integration to the boxer mail that has been provided it supports boxer mail and helps you to sync all your calendar events to this calendar so that is it for this video and thank you for watching please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this